Welcome to the Rough Pack tutorial video where I will show you how to save, load and use the vector brushes in Adobe Illustrator. The first thing that you want to do is open up the brush menu to show all the brushes that come preloaded with this file. So let's see, we have the drop, the straight one and two, the cobble, the cobble two, the rough, and finally the scratch. To save these, go to the hamburger icon, hit Save Brush Library, and the folder that opens should be the right one, so just hit Save. To use these brushes in other files as well, you have to load them. Hit the hamburger icon, open Brush Library, User Define, and there it is, the just saved the rough pack. Now grab some artwork and let's see what these brushes can do. I'll start with this red circle right here. Select it. And then go to the brushes. And let's see, let's hit it with the drop. Take a look. Now I might want to play around with the stroke weight. So let's bring it down a bit. Or make it bigger. I'm just playing around with it. Now let's take this yellow triangle and hit it with uh, the rough. I like it, but the top corner looks a bit off, so I'm going to select that corner and just bring it down using Illustrator's live corners. Let's bring this out here so we can see what happens. Let's see another one. We can do this tree trunk here and hit it with the scratch and maybe bring down the weight just a little bit looks good go over to the triangle here let's see the rough again now all corners look a bit off so I'm gonna round these off real quick see what that does yeah that's nice and maybe even a smaller weight now, what if we have two similar objects that we want to make look unique? I'm going to use the straight for these. And the first tree will be the straight one. And then for the second tree, I'm using the brush, the straight two. So now they use the same kind of feel, but they don't look exactly the same. Now, what happens when we apply one of these brushes to a bigger object, such as this green hill? Let's hit it with uh, the cobble. You'll see that the brush is going all around the object, and I kind of want it more detailed. So what I'll do is I copy the shape and paste it in place, Command F. So now I have two hills lying on top of each other. And the top one, I'm going to give the cobble brush, and I'm deleting the anchor points that I don't need. And I'll have to set the fill color to clear. So I'm using just the outline. And you'll see that the object is now much more detailed than before. We can do the same with this white hill. Let's see, the straight two. Go back and copy, paste in place. The top hill gets the straight two. And I'm deleting the anchor points that I don't need. And in this case, I don't need the whole corner here. And with every anchor point that I'm deleting, the brush gets more detailed. I'll have to stretch out this corner. And there we go. Let's see, what else can we do? Let's take this cloud and apply the cobble to it. Adjust the weight and let's copy it over here. I'm flipping it so it doesn't look too copy pasted, but I can also change it to the second cobble brush. And let's change that corner that looks a bit off, round it off just slightly so it looks nice and smooth. Just a bit more 
a bit less, yes. Now I'll show you what it looks like if we use just an outline. So this flagpole right here, that's just a stroke. And let's hit it with the drop. Adjust the weight and zoom in. You'll see it's just an outline and it looks pretty cool. We can do the same with the treehouse floor. Select it and hit it with the rough. Now, if you think this looks a bit too condensed, here's what I do. I select the stroke. I extend it just slightly to the point where I like the looks of the brush. I think that looks good. Now I turn the brush into a vector outline by clicking Expand Appearance. So now these are vectors. And I'm dragging a rectangle over the area that I'm keeping. Select the two objects, go to my Pathfinder, click Intersect, and now I've just removed a bit of the brush that I don't need. Thank you for watching and please let me know what you think of these brushes. Thanks.